Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a different video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make handmade lash fans. And I know like some people have difficulties making lash fans because it can be hard and it is time consuming. So I'm going to show you the way that I was taught, and I find it very simple to do. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So what you're going to need, obviously is your glue and a jade stone or whatever you put it on i've used a jade stone and tape and i put the glue right there probably make a drop or two drops um you're also going to need your stone where you're going to be placing your lens where you're going to be picking up from i uh, also this is my first time using one of these it's one of those silicone um jelly stuff and you guys can see i have one lash there let me see if i can bring it up closer but yeah, these are, it seems pretty good. I put one on there so far. I kind of like it. But, um, and usually what I use if I'm not, um, well, I obviously never had one of these silicone stuff before. I usually use this, which is a pill organizer, and I would label them with the density or the density and the length on each and like obviously the type of curl. And I would just put them in here. So usually when I'm doing it, I would just pick from these ones, which you could do too also. So, oh, sorry, I forgot the last thing. <laughs> Your tweezers, guys, you need your tweezers. I'm using these ones. I love these ones, these are my favorite ones. But yeah, so let's get into this. So you wanna go in with your tweezers, grab as much lashes as you desire, whatever. And I'm gonna take about this much. You're gonna squeeze it from the middle of the tweezers. So grab from the middle and hold tight and then just pull up. And you get a perfect pickup, just like so. What you're gonna wanna do after is go in from the bottom and then just pinch it and kind of release your tweezers just a little bit. Just a little bit, I'm just playing around with it till you get that perfect volume fan. Just pinch it. This is not the best one, but it's a fan. And what you wanna do is after, is just dip a little bit on the tip of the fan. I think I did a little too much. Wipe off the excess, and to get that skinny base fan where you don't see it as much, you just want to mold it with your finger. So pinch it with your fingers, and kind of mold it into like eight points. I know some people do square. I like point because I find it's more, I mean less detectable, I should say. So I'm just gonna pinch. This is a very wide fan. I think the face is kind of thick, but that is the lash fan. Just like so, guys. And then you can just, yeah, this face is really thick compared to the ones I made, so I'm, I probably won't use that one, but I'll still add it to my circle. I don't really like this one. I'm not gonna use that one, guys. So once again, I'm gonna go and take less this time. From the middle of your tweezers, clamp and peel up. Perfect pickup. Once again, squeeze the base and open the tweezers a little bit. Perfect. This one is perfect, guys. Just like that. Then you want to just dip a little bit, wipe off the excess, give it like two seconds to dry. And then just mold it into a pointy base. Just a pointy base. That is just gonna get you a seamless. This one was perfect, guys. Perfect. Just like so. And then just take it and add it to your lash silicone um, pad thing. So these are how much I made so far. I was obviously doing some off camera, I just, you know. But this is how it looks, see? And you guys wanna try to make all your fans similar so you get kind of, you get a very um, similar look all around. So once again, I'll show you guys one more. Go in from the middle, pull up. Go to the base, squeeze the base and open the tweezers just a little bit. Just like that, dip. 
zip, white, and pinch. Sometimes you won't even have to pinch. You will get a little bit of glue on your hand, but it's okay, guys. If you're not using that much glue, you shouldn't really get any glue on your hand that much. And then just add it onto your jelly stone. So I actually really love the jelly stone. It's so much more helpful. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. So I've made a couple. I'm gonna go on to making, I have to make three different ones because I'm doing a cat eye. So yeah, that, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys want me to do another one, I know this wasn't the best, but I was trying to really angle my camera, but if you guys want me to do another video, let me know or anything about lashing I can help with, uh, let me know. And I will post another video. So for now, peace out guys. And don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and like, and I'll see you guys again in another video.